Hello, um, in this video, I'm going to talk about two things, uh, the axe, right there, and over there is a copper needle that I made, so we'll talk about both. Okay, the first item we'll talk about is this axe. Um, this axe was found in an antique store that I frequently go to. Um, it is a if I remember correctly. Um, let me read this. Warren Axe and Tool Company in based in Warren PA. Um, now this company from what I've um, researched is long long gone. Or the the quality producer company's long gone, and yeah, it's a decent axe, uh, thirty bucks. Um, the steel it was the bit barely touched at all. Um, it the uh, hammer pole was barely mushroomed, if that, and then the eye was. Overall, just good shape. So, and then the handle on it. It's a good, good handle. Still, no wobbling. The only thing is that small fracture or split right here. I don't know if you can see that, but, um, yep. And I use this axe. It's a, a boy's axe, about 28 inches long. I use that for a lot of small things. And it works out good. And the bit's real thin on it for this axe. It's con. I might be getting this wrong, but convex or where the spines are thinner than the middle. And yeah. So, put tape on the handle so I didn't lose it. I dropped it. So got that, and then I just um, keep this over it. Just a little square piece of uh, leather that I riveted at both ends with two leather ties, and just slips right over the handle and ties right on. And the other thing we're going to be talking about is. Copper needle right here. Now with this, I'm sorry, sorry about that. And with this, I simply um, took a piece of copper piping and hammered it out into shape. I'll zoom out for you so you can. I'm oh, sorry for that. So you can see it in better detail. I don't know how well it, I don't know if it's going to focus or not but that's it um, very very simple didn't take me too long to make so yeah and then on it it's just an amount of um, artificial sinew. Sorry about the crappy camera work. This is just a quick video. Um, so yeah, that was that was easy to make. Um, but when when you're hammering it out, you do need to heat up the um, needle occasionally to keep it from um, cracking or because as you work hammer or uh, hammer work copper cold it gets more brittle and gets harder which is not what you want um, when you're working it because it'll crack and fracture on you and everything so you gotta heat it up and for the eye I just drilled that out with a drill bit so that was really easy to make so yep that concludes it I might make a video of 
one of my ghillie suits pretty soon here. So, yep. <laughs>